All right, what's up, everybody? So, the little barbecue pit masters behind me. I've been watching that for a while. I love this show. So, hopefully, tag tomorrow and tag Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, I got a brief window timing wise to get out uh, based on weather, and I got to be up in the Haddonfield area um, for a family dinner. So, I got to be up there at like 5 p.m. So, short window tomorrow, uh, right now. It's actually kind of just stripping my AVET here, just getting all of the old braid off. I'm going to re-spool with brand new 65 pound braid, top shot that to 50 pound mono. So once you get that top shot on, then all I'm going to have to do is really just tie up some rigs tonight and we'll be ready to go. And uh, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get one of those. That's my 11 pound tie. Rambo's pretty excited about it. He's super pumped. He's checking out everything. At any rate, yeah, the, you know, the weather's kind of iffy, so hopefully we'll be able to get out tomorrow. Uh, but I might have a trick up my sleeve team. I just might I just might in the next few months And it might make these short little weather windows a little better I'll keep you posted on that, but hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow out on the tog ground super pumped We've been bass fishing, but it's back to togging We'll see What's up girl? Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Hi world. What are y'all doing tonight? We're going to eat food for a party for Thanksgiving. CrossFit party. Get ready for talking tomorrow. Ooh. That's right. It's freaking cold out. It's going to be cold. Nah. Yeah. You know what? It feels good. I love it. Guys, so what we've got here is our 65 pound main line. We've got our helper over there. Both Rambo and Britt. And then what we're going to do is now that we've got the uni uni knot, so 65 pound braid to 50 pound mono. No, hold it like this. Point it at me. Hold the blue and point it at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want too, too much. That should be good. All right, good job. And then from there, you just tie the tie the rigs right to that. So how's the world, huh? Hi, world. So what are y'all getting into tonight? We're going to our jerky CrossFit party. Gonna eat everything. Y'all gonna behave? I'm starving. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, you know. Yeah. We don't you, you gonna meet a nice guy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Brett? No. Ah, oh, come on. See? Pre marriage? No, pre marriage? Pre marriage? Post marriage. Post -marriage. See? That's what happens. All right, adios. Adios. All right, team. Sorry about the messy background, but yeah, now we got my old trusty JPR custom tog rods. Y'all seen it? Y'all know it? Y'all love it? It's been in my prior. Uh, Tog video, so now what I'll do is I'll take my AVET and uh, put it on there. So what you can see here is, you know, again, we've got our main 65 pound braid, uni uni knot to the 50 pound mono, and then all you really got to do to get fishing, you ready? Is right about in here, you tie your dropper loop, all right? We're just going to do this real quick so you all can see. All right, so you tie your dropper loop, and then from there, However far down you want your weight, then you just tie, tie a simple double overhand knot, all right? And then there you can put your weight. And then from there, then you'll attach whatever short little leader you want from there. And I'll show you all what we're going to use uh, in a little bit. So. What are you doing, huh? You're nut. You're absolutely crazy. Rambo's nuts, guys. Is, uh, his name his name Rambo is very fitting. The dude's crazy. All right, guys, so what we're just going to do is just going to go ahead and tie up a whole bunch of rigs. Um, I like to do the slider rig. I'll show you real quick what that is. Uh, I've become a real big fan of it uh, over the last couple of seasons. So I'm a big fan of Gamagatsu. It's really almost all I use out here. Some guys knock them. I've never had a problem. But uh, Octopus will use 4.0 and 5.0. And then um, really, man, any 50-pound Leader skein is fine, Andy, what, whatever. I haven't had a big problem on the top grounds. You don't need uh, fluorocarbon, at least in my opinion, for this. Uh, every now and then, when it's really just big fish only later in the year, I'll do 60. E, who's a master togger, he, I think, does all his rigs 60. Sometimes when, when I know there's smaller fish around or they're kind of being finicky, I'll drop down to 40. Um, that's kind of how I started it was out with 40 but today I'm going to tie them up all 50 keep it simple probably a mix of 4 and 5-0 when we're using the white leggers I use more 5-0 and 6-0 hooks um, when early in the season they're keyed in on the green crabs typically then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just use 4 and 5-0 so I'm just going to rig up a bunch of 4-0, 5-0 and what I do is put them in a bunch of Ziploc bags I'll show you and then bam you got, you got your rigs ready to roll 
So this is for the slider rig itself. So I've pulled out a couple feet off the 50 pound liter skein. What you see here, I'm taking a 5 0 Gamagatsu hook. All right, and I slide that up a little bit. And then I take the second hook right on the same piece of line, and then I tie that on. Very simple. And then you'll see I complete it in a second. Cut the tag in there. Pull down that leading hook. All right, see there's the slider rig there. And then basically what you do, just cut it to whatever length that you want. And now, really important to do a good double overhand knot. Illustrated there. Cut that last tag in. And there's your slider rig. A lot of guys snell it. I just tied an improved clinch knot and I've never really had a problem for the most part. Um, and then up from there, then I just do a double overhand knot and that will be your leader. So you take your dropper loop from your top shot and then you take your loop, your double overhand loop on your leader. You put your loop through there, pass the knot, and you take both of the hooks and just go right through the double, the double overhand knot on your leader and then you pull tight. All right, and then you just have a, a loop to loop connection. And then what happens is, you know, your weight sits on the bottom like that and then your crab goes ahead and sits right on the bottom as well. With the slider rig, which is my favorite, all right, it's so bizarre, guys. Sometimes later in the year, I'll use the slider hook. I'll put one hook in one leg of a white legger and then the other hook in the far leg of, of the same half of a white legger or even sometimes a whole white legger. And then it's weird, guys. There's some days where they want like a half green crab on one and a half green crab on the other or like two hooks and one green crab and there's no rhyme or reason it's just some days they're just like oh i just want i have a small tiny little green crab on one and it's got to have some orange you know uh egg in it, it they're fickle crazy little animals and they were driving nuts but they're so fun that's why i love them so. all right reap the team so we got e on board I, I ran into him in the supermarket last night and i could not invite him he just loves togging so uh november 20th here we go, baby. It's blowing northwest a little bit. It's supposed to mellow. Um, I mean, it's like, what, 9.30 now? Yeah, it's like 9.30. We delayed departure, just hoping it'll mellow. Um, I don't know, I'm not super confident, but we're gonna go look outside the inlet. I got some wrecks that aren't super far out. Um, and then I had to change the spark plugs this morning too. I wasn't, I wasn't starting uh, on an outboard, you know, fuel spark, right? Fuel check. Spark, no, so change spark plugs, fire right up, so easy peasy. Uh, but we weren't in a rush to get out, so no big deal. So let's see, we're gonna peek out the inlet and see if we can't put together a trip. See you guys out there. Not, not too terrible, not ideal, but it's not that terrible. So we're just kind of making our way slow. We're gonna start only about four to five miles out. So we're gonna push on here, we'll see. So the GoPro really doesn't do it justice, team. You know, it was really snotty out there. It was every bit of three foot, tightly packed. Um, it just doesn't do the seas any justice for the most part. Uh, by this point in our 18 footer, I am absolutely soaked. You can see there, I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, but you know what team? That's New Jersey fishing for you, baby. Time for a bigger boat. All right, team, so we're, the troll motor is really struggling to hold. You know, we got a prop speed of like eight, eight and a half. That's a lot. Um, once you get up, up past seven, that really kind of tells you it's hard to stay on that spot lock for the most part. Um, but we're only in about 30 foot of water, which is nice, and we're right off the beach. Uh, Eric got bit right away, so um, hopefully she holds. If not, we can always conventional anchor. All right, team, so it's uh, early December. I'm all sorts of clean shaven, just finally getting around to editing this video. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm alluding to it there. It's really important, in my opinion, that if you're going to go out there and, and bottom fish, specifically for tog, um, you know, in late November, early December, you better know how to conventional anchor, and you better have the gear with you. Um, you know, troll motors that so far mine's been great, but guys, you're dealing with an electric motor with a bunch of electrical connections and two to three or one lithium battery or two lithium batteries, whatever. Uh, that's a lot that can go wrong out there in salt water. And, uh, if you're relying on that, man, your day's over you, your crew, all of it, it's over. 
Um, so if you don't have conventional anchoring in your back pocket, that kind of stinks. Uh, I know how to do it in my 18. I know how to do it on my 43. Um, watch Kidco Chiefs outdoors up there in New York. Mark will show you how to do it. Maybe someday I'll make a video as well, but Mark's got it all covered. Um, it's a lot harder on my 43. On the 18, it's really easy. But yeah, in my opinion, if you're going to go out there, you should learn how to do it. All right, team, I'm going to get rigged up here, show you how it's done. All right, guys, we're going to go right with the with the Reaper Tog Rod to start. So again, there's the rig. So the weight will go. Well, let's put the weight on and I'll show you. We should have a good amount of current today. We're near a full moon. All right, so that wasn't good. Drop the weight right in the water. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Just see how small this boat is? It's like, just don't have any room, you know? All right, now, you loop your weight on like that. So that'll sit on the wreck and then that lets your crab sit nice and still on the bottom there. He got bit on a white legger. So what we'll do is we're gonna put, go through one socket and then we'll go through the other. Like yay. Oh man, this wreck is sticky. I had one and he got me right in the wreck. Oh, I got it out. Wow. All right. A little rough out here. A little rough, but we're fishing. That's okay. We're fishing. A couple of weights. Smaller weights. A couple of weights. Bottle of red. Bottle of weights. Nope. Oh, here's a fish coming up right here. Look at this one. All sorts of when they get the eggs like that, guys. That's that's when it's good. There we go. Gotta get them up off this rack, boy. Gotta get them up off this rack. That would be the desired species, team. Yeah. Right there's a target. Right there's a target. He won't make the stick, as Craig said. But that's okay. They are down there. There you go. You got bit. Little guy, right? Ha! That little dude. Oh, I just got thumbs. Oh! Swung too soon, team. Get up off there. Get up off there. Get up off there. That's a little one. Hey! Hey, girl. That's a better one. Looks like a half decent one. Oh yeah. That'll keep. That'll keep. That's a nice male. That was a white too. Yeah. Hey, I would just throw them in the live well for now, bub. I don't think we'll need ice today. Actually, I can just turn the live well on. I'm just glad we got out today, let alone catch a fish. Yeah. Another one for the E-man. The Tog Slayer is waking up. That'll keep. <laughs> One's bigger than the next. Woo! And just like that, we're fall togging, baby. Yes. That's a nice male, too. Good amount of fish on this wreck, huh? All right. Good job, B. Yeah, man. Good job, dude. See the handsome devil. Oh, yeah. Nice. Pay attention. I'm just weeding out all the little ones for E. That's all I'm doing here, team. <laughs> you dog, you. I had a good little bend in the rod. Oh, instant. Come on. Oh, dude, I just got thumped. That was proper bite. Come on, eat it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a hefty one. Oh, I got to go in it. Yeah, I got to go. That's keep. Look how, bull look how bullish he is. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't want to keep, but we're going to let them go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let all mine go, I think. A little better. Hey, girl. Little in them. Another little in them. I'm getting all the little ones. Catching, they're just small. Like, what, what, what are these people doing? Like, what are you doing? I don't understand. Instant bite. Come on, eat it. There we go. There we go. I don't know. They're turning on the greens, bub. I mean, mostly smaller, though. You know? Laying in them over here, dude. <laughs> All right, team. So just kind of picking away at shorts here, just the two keepers. I, I probably threw back a keeper, but uh, the boats won't leave us alone. I, I don't know. They're trying to striper fish. We're clearly not striper fishing. Everybody's just literally five feet away from me. I, I don't know why, but name of the game Saturday. Jesus. Now he's gonna throw, now he's gonna throw the regular anchor. Okay, so this guy's been trying to snag the wreck for like an hour. And every time he does that, that wreck anchor and the chain drags over the wreck. So just totally destroying the bite. I don't know. What's this guy's got to like, I don't understand. Why? why? Hey guys, my patience is starting to get tested here. Uh-oh. Can't let that happen. <laughs> One after the other. Yeah. You guys, the wind just won't stop. I mean, it's just more out of the east now a little bit. It just won't won't quit. So I don't think we're gonna get ideal conditions at all today. All right, let's go. No? Yeah, they're all small here. All right. Alright guys, so we pushed out from about 40 foot to 70 foot, so that's a big temperature swing. Ah, it's a big depth swing. Um, I've caught them here this time of year before, so, so we'll see. Uh, I, I wanted to stay shallower, but all the numbers I had shallower had guys on them. I, I don't know, I've never even seen anyone in any of those numbers, so I don't know what the hell happened. But uh, we'll see, we'll get on the wreck here. It's a nice butt, you know, with the troll motor, it's as easy as hitting a button, so we'll see. It didn't take long, he's got one. Dropped right down, got bit. So uh, let's get cracking here. Ah, he bit me good. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. <laughs> I almost fell right off. Ow. <laughs> That'll make the blooper real, guys. Oh, man, he lasts on good, eh? So I bumped my weight up to an eight. I ain't messing around. Yeah, guys, current's really ripping out here. Dropping eight right there, and I'm ended up all the way back there. Yeah, the current out here is just ripping. He's already got two sand sharks. I'm getting a couple tog bites, but uh, we might have to push back shallower. All right, team, sort of about uh, 64. What, what was it? 64, right? Yeah, 64. This wreck's really low lying. It only comes up maybe eight to ten feet. Um, hopefully, we can stay right on it. Uh, it. No one fishes this thing. It's all broke up wood. So. Uh, See if there's fish here. So my GoPro had froze, but right when we got there, he got a real nice one. And really interesting, 
it actually had a you know a hook and a short piece of leader in its mouth. I'll show you that later. Guys, it's it's like instant now. All right. No, just get all the oh, get all the little ones. All right, so that second wreck, we you know we had really good life and a lot of bites right away, and uh, just like that, it died. I think we picked one keeper there, came back to our first wreck, and uh, it was game on from there on out. Got a big one? Yeah. All right, he's got a big one. He's all excited. Nice female, guys. Look at that one. That's five. That's five pounder. Yeah. That might be a leader for my club tournament. Nineteen inches. Dude, guys, we hadn't even gotten set on the. Uh, on the trolling motor really and <laughs> I hear fish on. So that's Eric's fourth keeper to my none. He's been using whites all day. I've been kind of sticking with the greens. So Yeah, that was a combination. I had green oh, on the bottom. Oh, it was a combo, okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm done with you. That's it. <laughs> I'm done with you. I had enough of you. That's, that's ease limit there, guys. I'm messing around. I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah. Did my part. I weeded out the small ones. That's it. You got us here. I mean, that's all. This one feels half decent. Oh, Chris, you got a keeper? There you go. That's one. Right. That's one for me. That's a female. All mine today are going. Going back. Right, how many how many you got in the well? You got four? Four. four? All right. If I get another male, I'll, I'll keep them. Right. There's a nice female. I'll let her go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look at that rod bend, guys. This is that OTI fluking rod I bought in the summer. Oh, it's a keeper. Look at that. All, right. All I had to do was put on a jig. Catch me a keeper. <laughs> nice one. Nice male. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect size. So what I did, guys, I listened to John Skinner. Wait for them small taps, and then once he really just swam away with it, I set the hook. Oh. Oh, he's got one. Double keepers, guys, to end the day. We're getting towards the uh, fourth quarter here. Double keepers, boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> I've learned a couple things on this trip. One, Saturday stink. Two, catching them on jigs is really hard sometimes. Three, I definitely need a bigger little boat. Four, I don't know what four is, but I'll figure it out. Oh, four. I need a new rod and reel setup for this jig, and this this one ain't working. Five. Five. Error caught more time. Error caught more time. So that's what we learned today. That's a big one. I got you. There you go. Don't leave little. That was a good one, dude. <coughs> yeah. That was actually a good one. Damn. That was a good one, eh? Oh, no. I thought I That's snagged. One of your best ones. I thought I snagged for a sec. I got him. I got him. I got him, eh? That's a good one. That's a good one, team. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. That's gonna be a good one, eh? That's gonna be a good one. Not really, I fell. <laughs> Close. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Alright guys, he just got number what? Eight or nine? Yeah. Yeah, that's number eight, right? Yeah, something like that. Something Beautiful like that, right? fish. Nothing big today either, guys. It's kind of weird. Oh, I got a good one, eight. That's a good one. Oh, I just dropped one in there. I didn't get to bleed them. Alright. I got a good one here. I got a good one. What's in that? 
Yes. Saddle keep on the jig, baby. Yes. On the jig, guys. Fourth quarter, Eli Manning. What I tell y'all, never doubt Eli. Never, ever, ever doubt. Never doubt Eli Manning in the fourth quarter. Pretty one. Got him? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to end it there. It's, uh, I don't know, 3.30? Yeah, 3.30. It'll be at dinner at 6, about an hour and away. So, great day. I'm just pumped we got out. I didn't really think we are going to make it happen. So, super pumped. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, see you on the next adventure. Yeah, nice, easy ride in, dude. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. This bite will shut down. One, one good blow. This bite's over. pretty is that it's probably my favorite time of year right now i love it it's just so nice out all right let's see what the final tally was let's see what we got eric caught them all so he's gonna take them out so on. That's the one oh yeah hook in the mouth. that's the one that had the hook yeah that's cool he caught him he already had that hook in his mouth so he played with fire one too many times This one wasn't bled. He's still swimming. So we got eight. Oh, eight. Okay. I'm sure we threw back our yeah. our ninth and tenth. Yeah, he's pretty. Cool. Well, good job, bud. He caught them all. The Tog Slayer, guys. That'll drain. All right, all right guys. So we killed eight. Released. Yeah, released that big female. Released that one big female. I know. I let go a bunch of keepers. Uh, yeah. We got. We caught. I don't even know how many we caught. We caught so many. So, not bad. We left the dock at like 10 a.m. and we were back by uh, 3:45. So, so nothing will go to waste. But yeah, I gotta run, so we'll get E on fillet duty. I got him a couple fillet knives, bags, ice, and uh, nothing will go to waste. He's gonna make a whole bunch of fish cakes for uh, Christmas Eve. So, yeah, man. No, again, if we kill him, we eat everything. I'm pretty sure he's gonna take some of the carcasses too and make uh, like a little fish stock. So for uh, tog chowder. So. Nothing goes away, guys. The one on the left is almost always here by himself. And now we have an osprey. And if you look, they only hang on my pylons. Not sure why. Mm -hmm.